Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn how to make a to-do list in Google Sheets. This sheet will be able to write up all the tasks and note the due date of that task. And then with this check mark or the tick box, you can click and strike out the completed activity. You can see that in sheet, in this sheet there is no column extra column and there is no extra row except from all the items in this to-do list. So without wasting further time, let's just start making it from scratch. So we'll start with any Google Sheet in here we'll write to do list and in the second uh, row we can write completed for now we can actually fill it up later for the third row we had a tick mark we will paste it by copying it from some other place then there was a task here and with the task there was a new date now this doesn't look anything like this, but believe me, once we get over with this, you will be able to make that to-do list. So, firstly, let's just add a few tick marks by going to insert and click checkbox. With that, now we need to add some tasks. So, we can add tasks from the very start or you can just copy them from here. Just like that. I will just add, I'll just paste the values here so that I don't get any of the formatting here. The due dates, now I can write anything here like 1, 2, 3, and it will take that value, but I don't want that. I just want the due date column to only take the values of dates. So, how will I, how will I do that? I will just select this column go to format sorry go to data and go to data validation and here you can add a new rule and what would that rule be it would be to make this a valid date and just click ok reject the input and click done now if I write anything else here will give me an error so I can only double click on it and select given date this is the due date for that specific task like wrap up work for today click here and you will get that due date put in here and you can add them all I will just copy for now because this is all for a demonstration purpose and you can remove the last three now, if I click this tick mark or the checkbox, nothing happens. But I want this activity to be striked out and I want this due date to be striked out whenever I click this. Now, how will I do that is, it's very simple. I will just select these two rows and then I will go to format and conditional formatting. Now with the conditional formatting, you have to select a range. I've already selected a range, but if you start from, if you are doing it, you may have this range wrong. So you can just select it again. Once you select this range and click OK, then you have to go for format rules. Now here, once you get here, you have to go for custom formula. And when you get this custom formula, you have to see that you've got a value equals this run column. This what is the address of this this, this task? It is B and four. So we'll start with dollar sign B and four, and this should be equal to true. Now I will 
or how will why am i writing true i will explain it in a minute and then i have the option so whenever i click this it should give me strike through option okay this db4 this should be sorry this should be a4 so when a4 this activity it's true it should give me the strike true so when i click done now you can see that nothing happened but when i click this this activity gets striked out now when i do this down here nothing happens but if i copy this and come and paste this entire select this and paste special and paste the conditional formatting so now this option has been applied on all the other activities so once i click here it means that that task is already done while other tasks are still remaining so when i talked about true and false you can see that in the formula bar it's false when i click here in these cells but when i click the checkbox it becomes true so that is why in the conditional formatting formula you have to write true which means if you click the checkbox it's a tick then it should give you a strike a strike true for the activity and in this case it's it is also giving you the color let's remove this for now you don't want it to change the color so just like that the activities can be striked out and now what to do with this tick mark because in here i had a tick mark like this so go to google and just simply write write tick mark a tick symbol you will get a few tick marks just select one that you like and easily you can copy it you just copy it here and just justify it okay so back to some of the formatting because most of the tasks in this sheet are already done now we'll just go for the basic coloring and formatting of this entire sheet so we'll start with how can we remove all these columns and how can we remove all these rows so once you click here at the top so the entire column gets selected and press shift and control or shift and command on your keyboard and press the right side arrow it will come to the end of this sheet now right click above and just click delete these columns and all of these columns on the right are deleted you can do the same for all these rows so click the rows here press shift then control or command if you are using a mac and then press the down arrow and then come in here and right click and delete rows so all the rows and columns are extra rows and columns are deleted now uh back to making it presentable so we'll just merge these and color this the green one that was right there and just make it a little bigger here make it white and bigger towards the center for the completed tasks we are not showing any number but we want to know how many activities got completed so for that we we'll use a formula called uh, how to count how many numbers are how many activities are completed so for that we will start with count if and select this entire range and then you have to give it a condition so the condition as i explained earlier it should be that when this check box is clicked and it shows a tick mark it means it's completed so you can write the condition that it should be true so when i click this it is showing me one okay that's the first part now the second part is what to do i have to check all the tasks so how many completed against how many tasks so if i just click here equal count a and select all these tasks i get 40 
So now I've got all these formulas. Now I can just come in here and merge them. So there is a separate formula called concatenate. It shows me it, in this concatenate command, you can actually combine separate uh, or you can combine separate formulas or separate rows in a single column or in a, or in a single row. So in this case, I am just getting this string, which should be count if. I will just write start with the text. In this case, completed and semicolon and inverted commas again. Then the formula, which is already pasted here, and then comma again, and I can add a separate column. So I will see if this is working till now. Click yes, completed is one. And I will just now come here and control X or command X, remove this formula and paste it here. What happens is I've got an error, so something is wrong. Now what is okay? I've got an equal sign here, that is why it's wrong. Completed is 114, it is not 114, so you can start with putting a slash in the middle. Here. So I can just put commas here and inverted commas slash inverted commas. I have got completed activities are 1 out of 14. I will also color this the same as above. And for these activities, for these activities, I will just use a more think if I select this and go for a separate color like this now I can make it a bit different seems a bit too bright so we'll just come back and narrow it down towards the darker side it's a bit different now now to make it more presentable we will just select and make it all white and bold for all these tasks, you can make a table for them. So they will look like this, or I think it was looking better before this. So we'll just remove this table. So with this, I think our to-do list is completed. You can keep check this when I Click on the checkbox, the complete tasks are 4 by 14 and if I select them all, it should already add up and give me 14 over 14 which means the sheet is actually working quite well and all the due dates, you can also change them so it's not that big of a deal. So that's it and that's all the things that we went out to do in this video. You can add a few more things as as you like, but I think that's the basic part of how you can do a to-do list. So that's it guys and that's the video. And do like and subscribe to this channel if you like this. And so I can keep on making more videos like these. Thank you.